GCSE Maths Quadratic Nth Term in less than two minutes. Let's go. Okay, guys, how would we find the nth term of this sequence here? 1, 3, 7, 13. The first step is going to be to find the first difference. To get from 1 to 3, we add 2. To get from 3 to 7, we add 4. To get from 7 to 13, we add 6. Now, we can see that the difference changes. So we're going to need to find the second difference. The second difference here is going to be two. What next? Well, we're going to take that number two and we're going to half it. Half of two is one. And that's going to give us the coefficient of n squared in our quadratic nth term. So we have one n squared. Now, what next? We're going to rewrite our sequence. We have one, three, seven, 13. And we're also going to write our term numbers. One is the first term, three is the second term, seven is the third term, and 13 is the fourth term. What next? We're going to calculate n squared, our term number squared, and we're going to subtract that from our sequence to get a new sequence. So we're going to take one squared, which is one from the first term, two squared, which is four from the second term, three squared, which is nine from the third term, and four squared, which is 16 from the fourth term. One subtract one is zero, three subtract four is minus one, seven take nine is minus two, 13 take 16 is minus three, our final step, guys, is going to be to find the nth term of this new sequence here. So what's the nth term of this going to be? Well, our common difference here is negative 1. And that means that the coefficient of n is going to be negative 1. So we have negative n. And then how do we get from negative 1 to our first number? We add 1. So our nth term of this sequence here is going to be minus n plus one. The final step to this, guys, is going to be to tag this nth term on the end of our n squared. So we have n squared, take n plus one. That is gonna be our nth term of this sequence here.